So hey y'all, look what found its way onto my work table. A Singer 27 with pheasant decals from 1908. Um, my daughter brought this to me. She found it at a local thrift store here a while back. And I told her, you know, I'd clean it up for her and try to get it in a treadle base and get it going. Um, not started on it yet. I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like before I start. Let me see if I can just move a little close up and you see, you know, the decals on the bed are silver. Some of the decals here still have the green gold color up here on the arm. Some silvering, so I'm gonna have to, you know, be real careful when I start to clean on it. I don't wanna disturb the decals anymore than um, I have to. Lots and lots of surface rust. Um, missing the front plate, front slide plate here. The shuttle bobbin's still in there. It's not rusty, it's pretty shiny. That's kind of amazed me. Um, that the, the underneath isn't as in bad shape as this outside. Um, so real quick, I'm gonna flip the machine around. I wanna show you the condition of the side and the, um, the back because um, just really a lot of rust here that I'm gonna have to, to try to um, take care of and mitigate as best as I can. Um, this machine still has the lollipops on it with the holes for the wood screws to go in its cabinet. So if I can use those, I will. Um, the back plate, you know, a lot, a lot of rust. Let's flip it and kind of give you a view of the, the underneath here. So hopefully I can start um, cleaning on it and make some progress. So just real quick, I'll show you how I start to clean a machine like this before I ever start to do anything, before I start to uh, remove any pieces or anything like that. I give the machines, you know, what I call an oil bath. And I'm just gonna move this up and get the machine stable in between these pegs so it's not moving on me. Um, so that should be good. But um, just use regular sewing machine oil. And um, I give it a bath. And uh, let me put a, let me get my towel and put it under here on the floor. Just like protect my floor so I don't have a, a puddle of oil in the floor to clean up. Because what the sewing machine oil is gonna do is it's just gonna loosen um, a lot of dirt and grime, years of dirt and grime. You wanna be liberal with it. Um, and then I slowly just, with this I don't want to use any pressure at all until I get a good coat on there and can um, start working. I'll do this over days and you can already see. So I will coat the whole machine to where it's just dripping. And over a period of several days, I will wipe like this and I'll probably go through anywhere from three to six of these t-shirt rags until they can progressively get less and less dirty. And then I'll go through several several days of just wiping it with a clean t-shirt rag to get any oil residue off. Um, and that's how I clean my machines. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to be really gentle with these decals. Um, I'm not gonna worry about, um, you know, any, uh, get, I'm not gonna worry about getting oil anywhere. You know, I'm gonna be real liberal with it and put oil all over the machine. That's gonna help loosen it up or help me find out where I need to uh, concentrate my efforts on where it's locked up. Sometimes just a good oil bath um, and just cleaning some of the areas inside the machine underneath 
and um, here the um, around the hand wheel and opening up these um, plates on the side and the back and getting some oil down in there and cleaning up. A lot of times you can free a machine up because a lot of times the surface rust or some kind of crud or gunk, old um, grease um, has it just locked up. So you just take, I just take my time with it, um, work it, you know, several days. And like I said, you know, let this oil kind of soak a little bit and then just real gentle you know, I try to do little circular motions, but no, not very light pressure. I'm not putting much pressure on it all. And you can see, and that'll go on for several days. So um, while you guys are doing your thing, I'll be here wiping on a sewing machine and I'll keep you posted to the progress of this. Um, have a blessed day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll talk to you later.